This story was published in partnership with the 19th, a non-profit, non-partisan newsroom reporting on gender, politics and policy. I am very scared of fire, terrified of fire, but it's something that draws us in. Katie Wolf, 23, just moved to a new town after five years at the Battle Creek Fire Department in Keystone, South Dakota, where she had kept two weeks worth of supplies packed to leave for out-of-state wildfires on as little as three hours notice. Now, 350 miles away in Aberdeen, South Dakota, she's joined the volunteer firefighter team, taking on fires in a more suburban setting. Wolf joined firefighting as soon as she was legally able to, celebrating her 18th birthday with a live fire test, and plans to stick with it as long as she can. That's what I love to do, but I can't do it forever, she said. She said she was happiest in the field, on the ground, but that the work takes a toll. Our bodies aren't going to last forever. Only 8% of all firefighters in the United States are women, for data published last year by the National Fire Protection Association. And there is little research about what female firefighters experience on the job and what unique risks they face in a male-dominated, and overwhelmingly white, field that exposes them to toxic smoke, typically offers minimal pay and benefits, and is still learning how to accommodate pregnant and I. These shortcomings matter all the more in a field experiencing persistent personnel shortages as states battle record wildfires amid a pandemic that has put greater pressure on first responders. The job can demand 72-hour shifts and lead firefighters to wildfires in the middle of nowhere, to trailer park steps that need to be rebuilt for a patient with limited mobility or inside an apartment to comfort an abuse victim. And day to day they contend with an uncomfortable truth. The longer you serve, the more likely it is that you will watch someone die. The ability to cope with these demands rests on trust in one's crew, but that's something female firefighters can't always count on. A 2019 study published by the Center for Fire, Rescue and EMS Health Research CFR, found that 37% of women reported verbal harassment and sexual advances on the job, and that those who experienced more discrimination reported a greater number of days when they were physically ill or injured. What research exists shows that the field has struggled to recruit and retain women, said Brittany Hollerbach, a postdoctoral researcher at CFR.